understand what is CT value in a RT-PCR test. Now note, CT value in a RT-PCR test is very different from a CT score in a CT scan or which is also known as the HRCT report. A higher CT value in a RT-PCR test indicates lower uh, proportion or lower viral load. However, a higher CT score in a HRCT test indicates higher viral load. So, in a CT, in case of a CT value from RT-PCR, it works inversely. However, it works directly uh, or is directly proportional to the viral load in case of CT score from a, a HRCT test. Now, CT score, HRCT, we would cover in a separate class. In this class, we would focus on the CT value. Now, Individuals are considered COVID-19 negative only if the CT value is 35 in the RT-PCR test. If the value is below 35, that means the person is COVID positive. These values have been indicated separately from nation to nation. WHO has recommended a range of 35 to 40. India through ICMR recommends the age, uh, the range for the CT value as 35. So any value which is below 35 indicates COVID positive in India. Now, Let's understand first what is RT-PCR. Just to have a brief outlook, RT-PCR is a test which is considered as a gold standard test for COVID-19 detection. Here, the RNA of the virus is taken and this RNA is converted into DNA through the technique known as reverse transcription. Once it is converted into double stranded DNA, this segment of a DNA is amplified and millions of copies are generated through the polymerase chain reaction and in that copies the presence of virus is identified. Now if there is a presence of virus it indicates that the person is COVID positive. Now how much virus is governed by the CT value? This CT value is known as cycle threshold. Now when this section is amplified this amplification means one copy would generate two two would generate four and so on and so forth so how many multiple cycles take place so to understand the cycle threshold we have a very simple animation so rna gets converted into dna now this dna is amplified and once it is amplified copies are produced so in the first case as you can see it would take three cycles that means 1 converting to 2, 2 converting to 4 and at the point when it reached 4, there was presence of virus that was seen. So my CT count is low but my viral load is very very high because just with 1 or 2 amplification I was able to identify it. But what happened in the other case? In other case we had 10 cycles that ran. That means 1 copy converted into 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 16 and so on. So we had more than 512 copies that were uh, done and now once we have so many copies that are generated, we were able to identify that there is presence of virus. That means there were more cycles that had to be done in order to identify the presence of virus. So more CT value, that means more cycle thresholds done to identify indicate lower viral load. However, if I was able to identify it in just one or two cycles, that means the viral load is very very high and just with a little amplification I was able to detect that, that there is virus. So this is what implies a CT value in a RT-PCR test. To summarize again in a RT-PCR test if the CT value is low it indicates higher viral load. If the CT value is high it indicates lesser viral load. In case of India the standardized values are 35. The values below 35 are considered COVID positive. Lower the values, lesser the values, more viral load. Higher the values, values close to 35, 30 to 35 indicate lesser viral load. So this is what is meant by a CT value in a RT-PCR test. We would understand the CT score in a CT scan or a HRCT test in the next class. So stay tuned, stay safe. Have a wonderful day ahead.